Hello, welcome back to Cloud and Web Developer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to send SMS messages from your Python applications using Twilio. You will need a Twilio account for this tutorial. Uh, there is a free trial that you can get without paying anything. In fact, it comes with some free money that you can use to buy a temporary phone number from which you can actually send messages to your customers or your friends. In my case, I have already a Twilio account, so I'm going to show you just the screens that you need to go to get the information you need to get and how to put it on your code base and how to actually send an SMS at the end of the video. So let's have a look. Once you have your Twilio account, the first thing you need is a phone number. I'm actually in Japan and the first thing I wanted was to have a Japanese number capable to send SMS messages to our clients. But I found that due to regulations, and that this might be the case in your local country as well, that some countries you need to jump through some hoops or flat out you can't send SMS to just anybody. So, but fortunately, a United States number, they all have the capability right here, SMS, SMS, SMS. Uh, so you come to this page, buy numbers, just search, and then you can choose a, any name, any number you want. If you have any particular preference, depending on the state or the city, uh, go ahead. But all you want is to have a number that has SMS enabled. And there is a monthly fee. It says 152 yen. This is in yen. So it would be like a $1 and a bit United States. And you have to pay that at the moment of purchase of your number. And then every month after that. Uh, that's just to keep the number, not per SMS. SMS have a separate cost, which is, I think, 8 cents, 8 US cents per message. All right. So imagine that you choose this number, you buy it. And you go through the process to buy it. And once you have it, in my case, I ended up with a Portland, Oregon number. And it has SMS uh, capabilities. So you need to remember your phone number. Just copy paste it somewhere safe that you can remember later for the code base. And then once you have that, if you go to your Twilio console in settings and then general. In here, you're going to see your account SID. So you need that number as well. And you also need your authorita authorization token, which is it will be revealed here. I'm not going to do it anyway. I'm going to be uh, blurring out all this information anyway. So you need that information as well. So you need those three things, the phone number, your account SID and your authorization token. And you want to keep those very safe. So once you have that, we can finally go on to Python. And I'll show you the a simple script. It's a really simple script. The first thing you need to do is to come and do pip install Twilio. I already have it, so it's going to tell me that the requirements already been fulfilled. But that's all you need to do. And then in here, you are going to declare your account SID, which uh, we got it from the panel. The authorization token, which we got it from a panel. Normally, you would put this in your uh, environment variables. Like, don't, 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 don't put them like this, put in a different file, somewhere that you're not going to commit by accident to your code base or anywhere else, because anybody with this authorization code can send SMSs on your behalf and you're going to have to be paying for the fees, right? And then you import the client from Twilio.rest and you assign this uh, method client and then you pass these uh, parameters. And then you can create a variable called SMS client dot messages dot create. And inside create, you have the from from and from comes with a lower uh, bar here, an underscore, uh, because from otherwise is already a reserved word by Python. So make sure it matches this in here. You're going to put your phone number, the phone number that you bought. In my case, it's the one from Portland, Oregon. In body, you're going to put the body of the message that you want to send. Uh, which uh, could be anything, just hello, welcome to my business, it's, this is such and such. You can put actually links, uh, HTML links, so you can link them to your website as well and things like that. And two is the uh, number that you want to send. So in my case, I'm going to send a, a number to myself, which as I said, I'm in Japan, so I have to add the plus 81 uh, code, uh, uh, country code, and I remove one of the zeros in the beginning. So you'll have to juggle you know, and somewhere else in your code with the numbers that you have, you want to, to send to. But anyway, in the end, you just want to have the phone number here that you want to send it to. And here, I'm just going to send a print ID of the message just for like good measure. And once you have this all running, I'm going to show you, uh, this is my phone right now uh, that uh, I'm using with this number. And to send the message, I'm just going to do Python app.py. If it works successfully, you'll see this ID, SMS ID, 
and if I wait a little bit, hopefully it's going to come to my phone. And there you go. So hello from Carlos and it's going to give me the tag I have created here. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I think Twilio is a very versatile service and you might want to check it out. And for more information, tutorials, you can ask me questions as well. Stay tuned. There'll be another video next week. This is Carlos for Cloud and Web Developer. Have a good day. Bye bye.